ho, ho, ho. Unenthused Santa Claus here. And uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a Christmas banner in Photopea with ease. So I'm also going to be making a logo tutorial. So that should be a separate video than this one. But I'm going to show you guys how to make it right now. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a new project. Change the width to 2560 by 423. We will change this later on to 2560 by 1440 so it'll work with YouTube. But for now, we're going to use these dimensions because it'll help us when we're making our banner. Now we have this blank background. So we're going to double click on this background. Go to gradient overlay and we're going to change the color from a red to a darkish red like that hit OK now we're going to get our text tool over here and type out your name so Cambit let's make it a little bit bigger like this Move that to the center, wherever the center is on this thing. If you can't find the center, just use this marquee tool, or it's rectangle select. Drag it across the entire area and then click this button and this one. There you go, it's centered. Then hit control D to deselect. Now let's change the font. I'm gonna find one that looks good. Okay, so the font I went with, it will be down in the description called Miraculous and Christmas or something like that. And you don't have to download it, but if you want to, you can, or you can use your own. So here it is. Hit that check mark. Now what we're going to do is select our text again and turn the color to white. So now we have it like this. Now what I'm going to do is look up Santa hat online and I'm going to use this one right here. I will leave this in a folder in the description for you to download all the things I use in this video. So just copy this image, bring it back. And now I'm going to move that above my text layer. So it's on top. And I'm going to go up to edit, free transform, hold shift, shrink it a little bit, and then put it on top of the first letter. Make it the right size. until it looks right to you. So it looks pretty decent. Um, now what we're gonna do is find Christmas lights. So it'll be in that folder as well. Or you can look up Christmas lights, PNG. So here's one right here. And this will also be in the pack if you wanna download it. Make sure it's a PNG though. Copy it, paste it, edit, free transform, and then hold shift while you shrink it. like this. Now you want to zoom in for this part so you can really see where it's all at. Now sort of just shape it to where it looks good on your text. Right here works. So hit that check mark. Now what you want to do, I'm going to zoom in even more. Go to the light layer. And go down here to this little rectangle with the circle in it. It's called raster mask. Now go to your brush tool. Make sure this top color is black. Go to this little drop down arrow and choose the soft mechanical brush and turn the size to about uh, 18 works. And yeah. So now I'm going to try to brush away some of these wires so it looks like it's going behind it. As you can see, let me get rid of this one. Yeah, so you want it to be kind of behind some of them. Now you might want to make it a little bit smaller so you can uh, make it look even better, more realistic. Now you don't want it to be uh, in front of the whole thing and you don't want it to be behind the whole thing. So kind of mix it up a bit. If you accidentally mess up, you can go to white and set a black and it'll start to show it back up like that. 
but I don't want it to be too, uh, I don't want it to block it too much. So that's why I'm hiding it behind some of these. Now what we're going to do is add some snowflakes. So this one looks pretty good. So I'm just going to copy this, bring it back, control V. Now it's the background's black. So just change the blend mode on it to screen. Edit free transform. They don't want it to be too big, so I'm going to shrink it. And then control J to duplicate it. And I'm going to move the other one over here like this. Hit that check mark. Now, if there's too many snowflakes, you can remove them by adding a raster mask and doing the same thing by just getting a brush, make sure it's black and you can just remove them if that layer is selected. So like, let's say we want to get rid of this one like that, or you could do it to this one and I don't want this one to be here or this one. So yeah, like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, our blur tool right over here somewhere. Let me find it right here. So click the blur tool, turn the size up a lot and the strength up to a hundred and just keep left clicking and holding to blur out this side over here. Make sure the layer is selected though and do that to the right side as well. So it's kind of blurred and then once you get to the center, it's not as blurred. Now we're going to go back to the background layer. So hit double click on the background, change the gradient to radial and just adjust it that way. So it gets redder in the middle and then darker on the outside. Hit OK. Now what we're going to do to make this look even better is we're going to go to the top layer. Click this half circle, go to brightness and contrast, turn up the brightness and contrast a bit. Now we're going to go down this half circle and go to vibrance, turn the vibrance and saturation up. So it, it really brings out the colors more. It's a nice touch and it also makes the snowflakes not stand out as much. Now we're going to change this back to its size. So go to image canvas size. 1440 instead of 423 hit okay now it's going to look like this it's going to look really weird so what you can do is find your background layer control j edit free transform bring it down and then just extend it like that so then what you want to do now is drag that behind this banner one and blur it so blur gaussian blur So it looks normal. You can use the raster mask to get to get rid of some of these snowflakes down here. Okay, now you can go up to file, export as PNG. Make sure it's one hundred percent quality and save. And that's all there is to it, guys. Hopefully, this helped you. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if you want me to make a Christmas logo as well. I probably will anyways, so, but just go ahead and let me know, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.